Good morning. This morning's devotional is quite a different approach, and I want to call to your attention the title of the devotional. The title is Christmas 2050. Yes, Christmas 30 years from now. And to indicate to you that this is a fantasy uh, devotional, something that might happen in the future. And it's sort of a uh, concern for me and perhaps for you. I'm asking myself, what is happening to Christmas? And are there some things that we can do to lift up and home in and center on the real meaning of the Christ event. So, reminding you that the title is Christmas 2050, let me read the devotional for this morning. As we entered the sanctuary that Christmas Eve, the organ was playing the lilting music of O Christmas Tree, O Christmas Tree. She had opened all the stops and the melody filled the entire room. As we stepped inside the doors, our eyes were greeted with a spectacular scene. In the center of the sanctuary was a huge evergreen tree. It was 30 or more feet. Its branches were laden with lights and tinsel. The lights were of the myriad colors of the rainbow, red, green, green, blue, gold, white. Every color was there. Someone must have spent a great deal of time searching for just the right tree and the right lights. I have never seen a more perfect specimen of the evergreen. The branches were so symmetrical, we could hardly believe it was real. The smell of the seeds and the wood was unmistakable. However, it was real and it was beautiful. It was the single decoration of the sanctuary. There were no crosses, no cribs, no candles, no creches, nothing else, no manger scenes. The tree dominated and filled the sanctuary. The rows of seats in which we were seated were placed in circles around the tree. Every chair was placed so that the tree was in the center of each person's visions. As we were seated, we were directed not to look to the right or to the left. The usher merely requested, please keep your eyes on the tree at all times focused on the tree, center on the tree, only on the tree. And then he added, please do not speak to the person seated beside you. Just concentrate and focus on the tree and listen to what the tree has to say. I sat down, carefully keeping my eyes on the tree. The organ music softened as the lights on the tree grew brighter and brighter. The lights twinkled and danced, almost seeming to move this way and that until I felt myself almost moving into a trance. It was then that the voice spoke. It came from within the tree. I was sure of that. Of course, I knew that the tree was not really talking that there was a speaker, very well hidden, of course, among the center branches, but the the tree seemed to be doing the talking. The words were these. I am the spirit of Christmas, the voice began. I stand tall as you are to stand tall. I reach out my branches and touch you. I am green, representing the eternal color. I am the symbol of Christmas. You will will find the needs of your life will be met in me. I am a tree, 
but I will meet your needs. You will find understanding and peace when you come to worship me. I am the meaning of Christmas. I listened to the voice and the words. Then there welled up within me a feeling that somehow, somewhere, the real meaning, the real symbol of Christmas had been lost, given up, given away. Surely there was more to life than greatness and the greenness of the evergreen tree. Surely, sometime back years ago, Christmas had meant more than just an evergreen tree. Wasn't there something missing? Had God sent an evergreen tree to represent him? How could I know God through a tree? As beautiful as it was, with all the lights, all the tinsel, all the colors. Was this the symbol of God? Didn't God have any better way to let me know how he felt about me than through an evergreen tree? And that's my question. Let me remind you that the title of the devotional is Christmas 2050, 30 years from now. And let me add a PS, if you will. What is God's symbol of Christmas? For you, for me. What speaks the most of the love of God to you this day? and these days of Advent. How does God speak to you? And are your ears open? Is your mind and heart, and mostly, is your spirit open to what God is saying to you about God's love? I hope you hear God's love anew. Christmas 2020.